What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about XRP today at the request of the Unleavened Baptist. Yes, we're going to talk about XRP versus BTC. And yes, you guys, I do... I do request, the request days are on Sundays. For, for me, it's Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Um, but if something's worth talking about, you know, it's worth talking about a little bit more in depth. I want to give it a little bit of a, a special attention video. Um, you know, XRP versus BTC, I feel like that that deserves a little bit of an extra look at. I don't know. And XRP is a top tier coin. It's literally one of, one of the top tier coins that's remained top tier. Bitcoin Cash down to 605, baby. I just got an alert. Um, love to see it. I hope you guys are buying the dips right now. Uh, not financial advice, but but just saying. Um, we're going to look at XRP first, XRP USD, and then we'll check out the BTC pair. Um, I'm going to pause the music. Let's get into this. You guys hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all very much for for all the all the new subscribers uh, that have found their way to the channel. I very much appreciate you. All the OGs, you already know I appreciate you guys. Uh, your consistent support, man. You don't you don't understand. I'm going to hold back the tears, okay? But you, you really don't understand. Uh, how much it means to me, how much, how much you guys uh, keep me going with this stuff. And I, and I genuinely mean it, man. Like it's, it's very, yeah, I, I've got a lot of encouraging people surrounding me and you and everybody that's involved with the channel. Um, it's, it's, it's nice. It's very nice. And I'm, I'm very grateful for every single person. And I mean it, man, I'm going to hold back the tears, but let's move up here. Uh, let's move on here. High to low, 618. We found resistance on it twice. And now we're holding support on the 382. Generally speaking, this isn't a good look. Whenever you find resistance on, on the 618 twice, I would expect that you would move higher. If if you were to so so this is what this means generally in my opinion. Would mean that when you interact with the 618 again, I would expect that you break it. But likely you're you're more likely to find resistance here and then pull back and go lower. That's generally like the high point. Being that this is XRP, being that I think it has more to give. It's and I I say that this is the likelihood or the, the more I should say like probable outcome um, doesn't mean that it has to happen. We could we could find resistance in this area and I would I still would expect that we would find resistance in this area even if even if we don't go down here we'd probably find resistance here come back find support on an area that we have found resistance on time and time again and then we find support in this area and then we move up. That's that's what I'm thinking is probably going to happen. Um, <clears throat> but just be aware it's a uh, it's definitely proven itself to be a resilient level this 61869 area when it does break which i would assume would be on the next attempt up the next time we see 70 cents we are likely going to go up to 80 cents 85 cents um chill there and then pull back down to 70 cents and then that'll be what sets us up to move up to about a dollar 14 a dollar 50 you guys xrp above a dollar even even potentially above two dollars it's right on the horizon we're, we're within eyesight of it we literally are and when I say that, that doesn't mean it's going to get there tomorrow. It, it could take a year, not, not a year. It could take a month. It could take two months. It, it could take four months, more months, whatever. Um, I wouldn't think it would take half a year for us to get up here. But this is XRP. It does like to be boring for a large bit of time and then just boom, exciting out of nowhere. Um, a lot of people I feel like have kind of abandoned hope on XRP when I don't understand why because this this is not a bearish looking chart at all. And if anything, if you've been trading it actively, like for anybody that's holding it, I get it. It's boring. It's you know you've you're watching all these coins that that are no name nothing coins, and XRP back in December 2022 was down here at about 34 cents. You haven't even doubled that as of now. I mean you have at various points, but you're not even worth double that right now. I get it. I get it. And there's coins that are that are doubling. Dog with hat pulled a 10x in a week. You know like whatever. Uh, I understand the frustrations there, but you guys, this is a large cap coin. This is a coin that's not going to dump 90% on you or 60% on you whenever whenever a grand consolidation or or uh, pullback happens with Bitcoin. You know, it might dump a little bit. It might dump like 20 to 30%, but it's not going to do the same dumps as some of these other uh, low cap coins do. And that's that's why you invest in coins like XRP for the security for the for the less volatility. But the thing is, I want to touch back on a point that I made. Did I pause the music? I better have. Okay, cool. Uh, is that this this has been a very tradable token. Like throughout this whole cycle, this might be one of the easiest coins to trade because it's just been more or less in this range. You know, anytime you're fortunate enough to break out of it, cool, you get a little extra selling point. Anytime you've been fortunate enough to break out of it to the downside, cool, you get a little extra buying point. But I definitely think from here, you know, if we move down, whatever, I think I think we are 
gearing up to move up to about 80 cents, 85 cents. I really do think we are uh, gearing up to do that. So just be, I mean, we're only at 60 cents right now. So that, that kind of movement in, in relatively, I would think a very short amount of time, probably before June, um, if not sometime in June, uh, that, that's not too bad at all um, for a coin like XRP. But I want to talk about XRP versus BTC. We're going to get into that. I just want to look, I want to do a brief kind of analysis instead of talking. Right now on the weekly, you are in somewhat of a downtrend. You can see it, right? Um, the lines aren't straight, but you can see what I'm going for, right? You've definitely got a downtrend. So break this, break this downtrend, break it to the upside. Uh, for right now, it does look like you're going to go down. And I think that you could stand to go down here in price and still be fine. As long as you're holding like higher lows above the screen line, that'd be really nice. So you might, being at about 60 cents now, you could move down to about 53 cents, maybe 55 cents, something like that. Find support down here, X marks the spot. That's a terrible X, but then, then you move up. A higher low, and then you move up. Um, and I've been saying that it's that it's a really tradable coin, right? You can just see how like very like fairly volatile it's been. But you know you can make if you're not making your money holding, you could definitely make your money by buying and selling. But you'd have to have strict rules. And the thing is, if if you're thinking about selling here, it's not a good time to sell. You miss your time to sell. It was up here, or it was at least at 66, 67 cents. You know, in that range, 65 cents even. We're we're at 60 cents now. That's almost 10 percent lower than that. It's not it's not a good time to sell right now. You missed your chance to sell. Okay. If you're looking to buy, in my genuine opinion, it's not a good time to buy either. We're in the middle of no no man's land. We probably do go lower. Um, anybody calling this an inverse head and shoulders, because you've got your right shoulder here, you've got your left shoulder here, and you got your head here. Um, <clears throat> I know what that looks like, man. It looks like a mouse, right? It looks like a little mouse. Um, it's not an inverse head and shoulders. It wouldn't make sense for that to be an inverse head and shoulders. I'm not saying it couldn't perform like one, but I mean, I would more anticipate that you come down here, you form another higher low in this kind of upward sloping channel that you have. And then on this next attempt up, what you've kind of got at that point would be like an ascending triangle and you'll break it. And I mean, if we go off the measure move of what that potential ascending triangle would be, technically you would take that low, it would be, that would take you all the way up to about $1.27. Right. And I think that's where you're going, man. Like, honestly, yeah, 1414 on your significant high uh, to relative low here, um, you know, of the pattern itself as well. That makes sense to me, man. A dollar 14, a dollar 27, a dollar 50. Like, you're going to be there in, in a very short amount of time. Guys, XRP is becoming very underrated. People are giving up hope on it. That's when it likes to move. So, patience will reward the patient. Okay. It will reward you. If you're one of those people that's been holding XRP this whole uh, bull cycle and you finally had enough and you put you sold all your XRP and you put it in dog with hat after dog with hat has already pumped tremendously, don't be surprised if XRP, XRP pumps 100% in a week or, or more. And, and I don't mean a week from here. I just mean in a week, like in a given week like it did here, right? Don't be surprised if it pumps really hard and then dog with hat is tanking on that same week or it's not moving up as much. You know, that's, that's why like with coins like this, especially this developed in its in its cycle in its pattern it's not good to move things around in my opinion i but i don't know everybody does their things differently you guys are all in charge of your own money do what you want i'm not a financial advisor but generally speaking the way that i see it is if you want to be responsible in the crypto market which i think i think the most financially responsible people in the world are in the crypto market. And I also think the most degenerate financially uh, degenerate people in the world are also in the crypto market. <laughs> but, but if you want to be financially responsible, you need to set up plays that you have faith in. You need to buy things that you're, you're not going to sell, that you're not going to see this shiny new toy come into the space and you're going to be like, ooh, I want that. And then you're going to sell this thing when you've been patient. You've been so patient. It's been boring for so long and you're going to miss the exciting point. Like, don't, don't do that to yourself, man. Because then you've got an emotional game going, right? Where you buy the new shiny toy that's all the way up here. And then maybe it's like slowly consolidating because it already had its run up. XRP is boring as hell. And now that you've sold it down here while it's boring, it gets ready to blow up. You're going to sell the shiny thing that you bought up here. You're going to sell it down here. And then you're going to buy XRP up here after it had its move. And then it's going to be boring again. And then your shiny new toy takes off. With, like You're going to be in a whole emotional state of chaos if you do that. So try, I'm not just saying with XRP specifically, but 
this this should be financial advice if it's it's i'm not a financial advisor but this part should be is that try to establish yourself in plays that you have faith in that you can hold on to and that you can watch other things do well and the thought in your head is going to be good for them good for anybody holding that i didn't choose it i wish i did but whatever my time will come because these things take turns so just be patient be patient be patient be patient you're almost there it's on the horizon i can see it can you see it we're like like it's there, man. It's right there. It's literally, it's, we're very close. In, in the grand aspect of all this, we are very close to seeing uh, weeks like this, man. Like big, big weeks like this, like genuinely. Um, anyways, let's, tech, let's talk about XRP, BTC. And I say all this, you guys, just for full transparency, I'm not holding any XRP. I, I, I respect XRP. Um, the SEC tie that it had was something that I, that I really admired, but also... Uh, just going up against the SEC, not folding and not not taking one, you know, just like bending over and taking it, like <clears throat> that. That's that's a first in the crypto space. They're the first people to, to go up against the SEC and like have a, a an over a year long lawsuit case take place. Like they have my respect, man. They did they did an incredible thing for crypto, Ripple Labs. They really did. Um, you can you can hate on XRP all you want, but they did an incredible thing for crypto, going to bat with the XC, with the SEC. Um, it's debatable that the SEC losing that case could have been what gave uh, Grayscale the you know the courage to stand up to them as well. You know, because at one point the SEC was just this big unbeatable, you didn't challenge them kind of bully. But XRP Ripple Labs they challenged them. You guys, it's got my respect, but it doesn't have my interest as a, as an investor goes. I don't really invest in coins that have um, <laughs> like tremendously high market caps like this. Um, Let's see, XRP. Yeah, 32 billion. It's it's a little bit too high for me. I say that. And what's what what's Bitcoin Cash's uh, market cap? It's like 11.9 billion, but you know it is still technically a little bit lower. But uh, I don't know. I just I see XRP doing growth. I just don't think that it's going to do anything like crazy spectacular. I don't think it's got a 20x in it this cycle, even from these prices. I don't think that it has. A 30x or a 40x, and a lot of the coins I'm holding, I see potential past past those gains. So that's why I don't hold XRP. But a lot of those coins too, they can they can drop a lot more than XRP can. With with that added reward comes a layer of risk as well. Here I am talking. Unleaven Baptist, we're finally at the XRP BTC part of this video. I hope you're around. Anybody that's here still, hit that like button, subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Uh, this is really exciting. This is actually really cool. I'm glad that we talked about this this XRP BTC uh, chart because, I mean, let's just let's just draw circles, man. Let's do it. Let's draw some circles. We got a circle here. We got a circle here. We got a circle here. And as of right now, we are right here, which is pretty damn close to all these lows. Like, could we go lower? Sure, but you guys, XRP. Cyclically speaking, it seems that it has these lows around this area that we're in right now. And then it has a dramatic, like, look at how how fast it just grows against Bitcoin, which also versus the dollar would probably probably be immaculate as well. Um, you know, I, I do think, back to what I was just saying, I think we are literally, we are at the precipice of seeing a very bullish move, of seeing a return for XRP being worth about... What is that? Four zeros, two three. Would that be twenty three hundred and sixty nine satoshis? Is that what it is? I thought satoshis were ten decimals in. I don't know. Let's let's look it up real quick. Hold on. What is a satoshi? I used to know, but man, it's been so long since I've actually not satoshi Nakamoto, the smallest unit. Yeah, I think it's ten. It's like nine zeros and then one. I think. Uh, one two three four five six seven. No, it's. It's seven zeros and one. Okay, so that would be then, uh, you know, returning back to around the area of two thousand four hundred and forty-four satoshis, two thousand to three thousand satoshis, something like that. We're worth eight hundred ninety-one satoshis right now. Um, yeah, we could go lower. We absolutely could go lower. But with how it looks, you know, I'm looking at this like a double bottom and then a higher low. We might get this higher low here too. I don't know. Hard to say. Let's see. Where have you bottomed out in your RSI relative to all these here? It 
So here you bottomed out here, here you bottomed out here. This time you did not bottom, you, you went down, actually, you did go lower beforehand, but you had some bullish divergence present itself. You actually did. Your bottom out was literally right on this line. So every single one of these lows was right at this line. You're a little bit below it now. I don't know, man. XRP BTC, it probably turns bullish soon. I, I want to do something else real quick. Hold on. Let's see. We'll go through. That's a neutral month. We'll call it red. We'll just call it red. Six months in a row to the downside. One, two, three, four, five red months there. Five, five there right here. Seven, six, seven. No long streaks. You've got one here. Seven. So yeah, dude, the, however you slice it, we're near. We're very near. Whether you want to look at the levels itself or by the amount of time that we've had red months in a row, where we are in the RSI, you guys, we're very, very near. And this, what's what's key about this, Unleavened Baptist, shout out to you one more time, man, because this, I think this is a chart worth looking at. Um, I'm glad I made a video just for this because, dude, Anytime you've been at these lows, it, it didn't slowly crawl out. Like you slowly crawled out here this one time and versus Bitcoin over the course of like a month. Oh, that, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, over the course of like a month and a half, you moved up 258%. You did come back down, but then inevitably uh, over the course of four months total, five months total, you went up 531%. You know, Even on this one where you moved slowly, 258% in less than two months. Okay, So I'm just saying, guys. We're in April now, May, June, Pro probably by June, you will be back up here. You'll, you'll be, you could be higher. Who knows, man? Who, who really knows? But uh, I'm not, I'm not so sure. I'm curious, man. I'm really curious, actually. XRP, USD. Give you my long-term assessments here with XRP. Because I do think you're going to see new all-time highs this cycle, which would mean that the minimum target would be, that's right, yeah, that's right, like nine to fifteen dollars. That's that's right. Um, very high market cap, several hundred billion dollars in market cap valuation, but uh, that is possible. Now this would take you over a trillion. I don't think XRP is going to see that. Um, I suppose if any crypto besides Bitcoin and Ethereum deserve to be over a trillion dollars in market cap value, it would, XRP is probably up there for for. A coin that could deserve that this cycle even but i'm definitely looking at 15 to 935 and from here let's see hey man here i was saying xrp can't do a 20x look at that 15 point i mean that's almost a 16x right there and then that potentially could be a 20 25 26x yeah i was talking all this smack earlier man you see you got you got some growth to do definitely you do um <clears throat> where bitcoin btc where i see bitcoin going is all the way up at its 2272. Just to keep it in reference sake. I do see it going up to its 22. So that's it's about a 6x. Okay. So 6x overall versus a you know, at a minimum like a 15x, 16x. <clears throat> that would be what? 6x is 500% 16x is 1500%, so that'd be a thousand percent growth versus Bitcoin essentially, which would take you like all the way up here. Which, hey, you've that's the top area normally. You didn't do it last cycle, but that's the top area. Yeah, you could go as high as about 10,000 Satoshis, maybe 9,000 Satoshis, man, something like that. I wouldn't be surprised if you did get above this zone here. I wouldn't be surprised. You know, technically you would have higher lows, so that the ball would be in your court to form a higher high. But yeah, man, it's all, all speculation. I don't know. I don't know if I have anything else I want to add other than I'm a lot for not holding XRP. I feel like I'm a lot more bullish than a lot of people who are holding XRP are. Um, no, I don't think it's going to grow the most out of any crypto. But dude, I think you you can still see some solid gains in something like this. You could turn in this cycle, you could turn a thousand dollars into over ten thousand dollars, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. It it could happen. Um, and I think I think at least ten grand, pro probably more than that actually. I mean at least technically from what, what I just drew would be about sixteen grand. A thousand would turn into sixteen grand. And I mean on XRP, which is one of the safer coins in my opinion to invest in, um, they've got all the negative news. Man, it's so perfect. They've got all this negative news about them getting hit with a whatever multi billion dollar uh, 
thing. Ripple Labs is getting hit with it. Not XRP. XRP and Ripple are different, by the way. Ripple made XRP, but they've been very uh, deliberate in, in specifying that they are separate entities entirely. There are people who work at Ripple Labs who don't know anything about XRP. You know what I mean? Like that literally, they did a thing where they walked around asking, interviewing people at Ripple Labs about XRP and they're like, what are you talking about? They're like, you don't know what XRP is? Like you made it. They're like, what? We made it? Like what are you talking about? Like it's, they are separate things. They are totally separate things. Um, created by the same people, but different things. Um, so Ripple getting sued seems like a bearish spinoff on XRP, but you always get these negative narratives right before or in the middle of things going good. You get the good neg the good narratives when things are about to tank normally, right? That's, that's generally how it goes. But in a bull market, it's a little bit different. I would say good narratives can still promote growth where negative narratives are more likely to just be false kind of pretenses, right? You might get an immediate sell-off, but it'll get recovered really quickly because it's like, oh, this negative thing happened, but we don't care. We're going to still go up higher. Um, I think that's exactly what XRP is about to face. I know that I know that there's all this drama, all this news about the SEC case still and how much they're going to pay um, or whatever, but maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know. Um, but whatever the outcome is, I would still expect that XRP versus BTC is going to grow. I would expect that XRP versus US dollar is going to grow. If we look at this on the weekly, you do have bullish divergence. Oh, no, you don't. Technically, no. Te technically, no, you don't. But whatever. It could still be a bottoming point. You could you could go lower this week, and then you'd have that bullish divergence, whatever. But you're, you're really, really close, man. Really, really close. I like the daily RSI. It does look pretty constructive. You are in an uptrend right now. Oh man, you are bouncing off that 40 area too. I don't know, man. It could be it could be sooner. This this up move, this dramatic up move, it could be sooner than I'm giving it credit for, but I would think anywhere from the next couple weeks to the next couple months and I I would probably think it's sometime in May or June is whenever we see this phenomenal just rapid growth and expansion. But bringing it back to what I said earlier, by the end of the month, I do expect XRP to be uh, above above this area, above 70 cents, 75 cents, probably into that 80 cent zone or higher. And that's all I got, guys. So if you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.